In today's video, we will learn how to post the JSON with our ESP32 using Wi-Fi and the internet and that's coming up right after the intro. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. Today we'll learn how to post JSON. This is a continuation on previous video where we learned how to get JSON from an API. I assume you have watched that video because we will continue on the code from the previous video, so if you want to watch that video, then the link will be in the upper right corner on screen now, or click the link in the description down below for further instructions. Now that you have tried out getting JSON, we simply have to make a few adjustments to our code for, for it to post. We will also continue using the API from the previous video. So open your code from the previous video and let's start. Firstly, let's add a char character called JSON Output 128. In here we will be storing our JSON object that we want to post to the API. Onto our void loop. Let's, and let's get rid of our random number from 0 to 10. We won't be needing this anymore. Next up, we'll change the current URL to a URL that accepts post requests. So let's first delete this one and add in this line. Now let's add a header to let our API know the content type is in JSON format. Up next, we have to specify a fixed capacity when we create our JSON document. Here's how. Currently, the JSON document is empty, so let's fill it up. If we take a look at the posts on the website, we can see that each object contains an ID, user ID, title and body. Let's only add in a title. Most likely in a post, you should not have to add in the ID as the API should take care of this and otherwise you will have to check their documentation. Next, let's serialize our JSON like so. With doc being our object that we filled and JSON output clearly being our JSON output, next we want to change the client get to post and add in our JSON output that we want to send. Now before we save this and try it out, you can leave our custom made payload replace strings, our deserialization, the readout and the print as well, but then you'll have to change the readout readouts but for now we will delete all of this, but you can, however, do this if you need the data. If you run now, you'll notice that as soon as the ESP32 is connected to our router, we'll see that our post will be successfully posted with the value title saying subscribe to Asali. And as you can see, we get the status code 201, meaning successful creation, and an ID that has automatically been added by the API. Now if you receive any other status code and an error, then I advise you to google for this status code and figure out what you most probably did wrong. Please consider checking out my Patreon page as well, that would be awesome. There I upload all of my code with in-depth explanation of each video I ever created on this channel, just like this one. Link for that down below or on screen now. So that's it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.